there, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for joining us. We are here on Pastiche of Skin for another episode of Anime Like. Now, if you have caught the first episode of Anime Like, it was a test run. If not, this is the first inaugural proper episode. What I do is I actually take a video show, a series, something that I actually enjoy, particularly off of Crunchyroll, because it's actually kind of convenient for you guys to be able to check stuff out. And what I do is I start up the intro and I see how much I can really explain about the plot of the show before I run out of time and uh, then just kind of end the video. So it's like, a, this is going to be like a short, quick glimpse of what a centaur's life actually is to me and why you should check it out. So let's take a look. So, A Centaur's Life, it's actually a TV series about a series of young girls that actually all have different body shapes. Um, it's particularly body image positive in the fact that the main character is a centaur who has a half horse and has a body. That's what a centaur is. There's also demons in there, well, like bats, there's rams, there's dogs, there's cats, there's uh, birds. Every single kind of like uh, denomination of people, as you can see, are all represented from mermaids to uh, snake people. And in this world, they actually have everybody working together for it in a world of equality. In this world of equality, there seems to be this little subtext, some backstory, some explanation and reason why it's actually the way it is. And the way it is doesn't seem to be a pleasant reason. Uh, only recently in the show, it's finally turned around and explained that there is a backstory to what has happened. And they've got a, their own reenactment, some version of World War II where uh, the centaurs were the Nazis and people who were put in prison camps. And I'm not spoiling anything by talking about this because it's not the main point of the show. The main point of the show is actually a small slice of life comedy about the daily lives of teenage girls having to live within this particular world that they live in and the people they meet and just trying to grow up. And it's actually a really interesting concept. Uh, I, I like, I liked it whenever they did it with Monster Bros. Anyway, there, there was actually like a legal prison in the show for why monsters and humans can't be together. There's, a, there's like a logistical kind of like there's a plan and organization around all of this. But in a centaur's life, it's so much smaller that it's just a whittle taster. Guys, so if you actually thought that was an interesting explanation of what a centaur's life is and it actually intrigues you and you want to see the show, then feel free to check it out. It's on Crunchyroll. Um, you get, I'll throw a link to it in the description underneath. And if you enjoy my descriptions here on Anime Like and you would like to see more of them, then make sure to hit the subscribe button or the follow button or whatever it is that you actually have to hit the subscribe and follow this. If you don't do those things, that's not a problem at all. You can just memorize the name, pass the of skin. All you have to do is type it in, search for it, and you can come and find me and I will be easily available because I'm not trying to hide. So uh, yeah, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up there in the corner I wish you would press. If there's actually a re recent playlist here, it'll be the anime may like one. We'll be the first will be the most recent video on the channel. And here will be a video just for you based on your user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. And if you pick on that one, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a good time. So I recommend you click on that link right now. Thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next anime. Bye.